start making our quail cages. I'm getting quail for eggs and meat. I'll show you some of the tools that we're going to need, need to do the project and some of the materials. Uh, so I got some hardware cloth. It is uh, half inch galvanized and it's in a two by five foot roll. You'll need wire clay cage clips. You'll need the little tool to clip and clamp. I'm gonna show you how to do that. You need snips, a Sharpie, measuring tape, and of course, I always have my little knife. I also have a little helper today. Hi, I'm Julia. This is one of the one of the children. Um, and best child. she will <laughs> the best child. And she'll be helping out today. So um, oh I'm not exactly sure how that's gonna go, but we'll it's gonna go see. great. Okay. I'm well, so excited. Right, so you roll it out. It's also helpful to have gloves because this stuff will cut you pretty good. So again, safety first, children. Step on it. Flattens everything out. All right, now with the quail cages, what you want, you want it to be two feet wide, and so that's why I bought the two foot uh, roll. And you don't want it any higher than about 12 inches tall, uh, because quail are a flighty bird, and they will fly up, and if they get too high, they'll fly up and break their necks on the top of the cage. So you wanna make sure that you keep it at a certain height. Um, we're going to measure it out. I'm going to bring it up about 12 inches, and I'm going to show you how we do that in just a second. What I'm going to do is I'm going to take my tape measure, measure from the end. I'm going to go up 12 inches and mark it with the with the sharpie. So you come up here, measure to the 12 inches, and you'll mark as close as you can get to the 12 inches. So and then come straight across with the sharpie, all the way over. So you take the board and you line it up with that with that section of the wire. And all you do, you step on the board <laughs> and you bend it up and push. And push it in. All right. Now the other thing that might help, and my little helper, can you go grab me a hammer? And like that magic, I have a hammer. So you come in along and you just hammer that section. Make sure the, the wood stays where it is, where it's supposed to be. And then you'll you'll see it's on that mark. So there's the sharpie line, and it is directly on that. Bed. I also want the bottom of the cage to be two feet. So I'm obviously not going to go 12 inches. I have to go from this bend to two feet. So I just do the same thing. 24, and we hit this line right here. Board directly on that sharpie mark. Okay. So now we have our two bends, and then I'm going to do the same thing on this side, measure 12 inches, and we'll be back to show you that in a second. I took another piece out of the out of another roll and cut it to 24 24 inches long and left it the, the, the regular length, so it's 24 by 24. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna, we're gonna take, take this tool, we take these little clamps, put it inside, and you see you put the rounded edge on this one, you put the rounded edge on the double side. And then you come over here to your cage. You line these up so that they connect right here, so that they're they're the same, same squares. You take this, wrap it on the bottom, clamp and then you see it's circled and it's connected what i'm going to do is i'm going to go down the rest of the cage here and put in probably seven eight maybe ten ten more of those clamps to shore this up and do the same thing on the other side and we have the basic structure of the cage as you can see i have clamps all along the bottom here and along the bottom here so that it's nice and secure. I'm going to take this piece and do the same thing. I'm going to secure it on this side and I'm going to cut another piece and secure it on this side and then I'll have to cut a door uh, and then we're going to make a frame out of PVC pipe. I lost my little helpers but 
I did get the cage done. So you'll see it's not exactly the straightest. And I forgot that on the edges over here, when you do your bends, it turns into a curve shape. Uh, so <clears throat> trying to get those little clamps on was not exactly the easiest. I have a cage. I, uh, next thing. I have to cut a door on one of the sides and then clamp a bigger piece on the front to make a door. And I have little uh, connectors which happen to have laying around to latch the door closed. And there's the cage. Really simple. Just PVC. Um, you know, I cut them at, at uh, 32 by 24 and I made the height at 14 inches. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take the, the cage and I'm gonna drill holes into this PVC, wrap it onto the cage so it sits up, and um, I'm gonna put some kind of pan underneath to catch all of their droppings. I'm gonna take the wire that we got from the, the bale of, of hardware cloth and reuse that to hang my cage. Threw the level on there. Got as about level as I could front to back. I still have to cut the door in the front here so that I can have access. Um, and I have a little bit of room in the, in the back. So next time I'll make the measurements a little bit easier so I don't waste uh, PVC. It'll but, just give me some space. Um, and I may be able to adjust it and cut it and bring it in and use some of the PVC to, uh, oh yeah, there's two of them in the back there. Lucas and uh, Julia. My my film guy right here, and my helper from yesterday right here. I think we all seem to be fine with it. Um, I just made a decision to go to a bigger cage. Um, I'm gonna keep this and use it for hatchlings um, and if there's a, a quarantine. So that is all for the quail cage. If you like what you see, please hit like and subscribe and share some of the videos and Hopefully someone else can learn quick and easy ways to homestead using materials that they have around the house and um, using cheaper materials to build similar cages that are, you know, two, three, four hundred dollars and build a cage that's less than 20 bucks total. If you like what you saw, please hit like and subscribe and share and I will see you on the next one.